Data analyst position is one of those rare positions that is in demand everywhere but does not require any computer science or university degree. Hello friends, this is Abdul Rahim Wani and today I'm going to show you how to become a proficient data analyst within three months of work. We have designed a roadmap that if covered in three months, you can become a proficient data analyst and it requires only three to four hours of study every day. This roadmap does not require any computer skills, any programming skills or any computer science degree. You can just start from scratch and it covers all the required tools for the data analyst position. The best part is that we have not only designed this roadmap but we are going to implement it step by step with you from scratch till the end so we can all learn together and then you can become a proper data analyst. If you are a beginner or intermediate level or someone with experience in another role and you want to switch your career to become a data analyst, this roadmap is exactly for you. In this roadmap, we are going to cover four basic tools that are required for becoming a data analyst. The number one is Excel that is very useful for data analytics. Number two is SQL. Number three, we have Power BI for visualization and dashboard designs. And the last one is Python that is used for data analysis and data science. So without any further ado, let me show you my screen. As I said before, this data analyst roadmap is uh, for 2023. And this roadmap is designed for people in different levels, whether you are a beginner, intermediate level or advanced level. You can cover this roadmap within three months and you can become a professional data analyst, as I said before. And it requires no coding or computer skills. This entire roadmap can be learned and implemented totally for free and all the tools used in this roadmap are available publicly for free. The first tool that we are going to cover is MS Excel. Uh, I must tell you that MS Excel is still widely used in all types of businesses and companies, whether they are small businesses, intermediate level or high level, they use MS Excel for day-to-day -day data analytics. So in the first week of this roadmap, we are going to cover Excel fundamentals where we will be covering basic Excel operations such as data entry tasks, formatting, cell referencing, tables, other basic Excel operations. We will also cover understanding basic functions and formulas including arithmetic uh, functions, logical functions and text functions. I have mentioned some of them here like sum, average, count, and if, lift, upper, mid, length and some more. After that, we are going to cover organizing and manipulating Excel data in tables, sorting them, filtering them, and adding slicers for filters. Once we are done with the basic Excel operations, then we are going to work on a mini project in Excel where we can implement all the things that we learned before. And I'll also be giving you a project. So I will be doing one project by myself, and then I'll be giving you one project so you can practice the stuff that you have learned before in the week one. In week two, we are going to cover advanced Excel formulas like VLOOKUP, XLOOKUP. I have not mentioned XLOOKUP here, but we are going to cover that because that is an extension to VLOOKUP. That is a newer version of VLOOKUP, which can be used in different ways. Then we will work on index function, match function, and some uh, basic usage and also advanced usages of index and match. After that, we are going to work on data validation, removing duplicates and conditional formatting. Then we will move on to the basic charts and visualizations in Excel. So we can uh, do visualization in Power BI, but while working on day-to-day -day analysis, we will use MS Excel for visualizations and charts. I'll also be giving you some tasks here in week two, so you can work and practice your skills that you have learned before. We are also going to work on some soft skills uh, like you are going to create a LinkedIn profile in week two. Uh, if you already have a LinkedIn profile, that's fine. If you do not have any LinkedIn profile, then it's a must thing because uh, you need a LinkedIn profile for uh, visibility of your work and showing your projects to others and recruiters. In week three, we are going to cover Pivot Table, which is uh, a data analysis tool used for Excel data analytics. It's a very nice tool. We can use pivot charts and pivot tables together to show uh, insights from the data and to show some summaries and uh, analysis to other people. I'll also be giving you a heavy task here for uh, your practice. You are going to practice in every week. I'm not going to let you stay in your comfort zone, so you are going to practice along with me uh, and you are going to implement everything that you learn uh, through this roadmap. 
In week four of this roadmap, we are going to work on an end-to-end -end, uh, Excel data analytics project. We are going to have a data set where we will be doing data cleaning, uh, data uh, processing, data manipulation and after that we are going to have uh, some summaries of uh, from this data set and after that we are going to uh, build a dashboard within Excel. So I'll be doing one project by myself and I'll be giving you one project so you can also practice along with me. In week four uh, you are also going to uh, work on your resume so if you have uh, worked on your resume you already have a resume then that's fine. If not we are going to work on a resume I'm going to give you some references for free resume templates and uh, you will add your own data on those templates so you can uh, prepare your own resume and send it to recruiters and apply for different positions. So after one month we will be done with Microsoft Excel and we have already uh, been working on data analytics using Excel. So we will be a little bit familiar with data analytics and how to get insights from uh, existing data. In week five we are going to work on Power BI introduction and some basic stuff uh, in Power BI. So we are going to learn the basics of Power BI and its components. We are going to learn how to connect and import data into Power BI, uh, how to create simple visualizations and dashboards using Power BI Desktop. Now remember that Power BI Desktop is also free. I'll show you how to download it and how to set up Power BI for uh, your practice. In week six of this roadmap, we are going to work on Power BI advanced techniques we will dive deeper into Power BI's capabilities, including measures, calculated columns, and advanced visualizations. So we will work on how to set up advanced dashboards, how to work on different charts, how to set up charts together, which chart is used for which task, and how to present our data using Power BI dashboards. We will learn how to create interactive reports and publish them to Power BI service. Then we will practice creating complex dashboards and exploring data using Power BI. So here we will work on one project together in a video and I'll also be giving you one project so you can practice along with us. Then in soft skills, we are going to start following other data analysts on LinkedIn so we can share our experience with them and we can learn from them as well. Here is my LinkedIn profile link that you can click on and you can follow me and I can also connect with you so we can learn from each other. Remember that LinkedIn is the best place where you can show your expertise, you can show your work, you can show your dashboards, analysis and everything. And there are millions of people who will see your work and who will even contact you if they need you for any task or for any work in their company. In week seven, we are going to dive deeper into the data analytics and we are going to touch real data analytics in SQL. You know that uh, SQL or also pronounced SQL is used for uh, interaction with databases. So we will learn SQL in week seven. We will start it in week seven and we will continue that for another week as well. So we'll learn how to interact to different databases, how to fetch data, how to manipulate data and how to build different reports. So in week seven, we are going to understand basics of uh, relational databases and SQL. Then we will learn SQL syntax, including select, from, where, and join statements. We will practice querying and filtering data using SQL. I'll also be giving you some tasks that I have mentioned here. I'll be giving you tasks in SQL. I'll also be giving you a sample database so you can uh, import it into a database management system and then use SQL for interacting to that database. Week 8, we will be learning some advanced SQL statements. We will learn exploring more complex SQL queries, including subqueries and aggregate functions. We will learn about data manipulation operations like insert, update, and delete. And we will practice writing advanced SQL queries to extract meaningful insights from databases. And here I have mentioned uh, that I will also be giving you some tasks so you can practice along with me. So from week 9 up to week 12, we will be working with Python, Pandas, and NumPy. We will use Python uh, for uh, data analysis. We will be using uh, Pandas and NumPy for different data analysis tasks. Remember that Python is very useful and, and very popular for data analysis and data science tasks. So in week nine, uh, introducing ourselves to Python, we will learn the basics of Python programming language, including variables, uh, data types, and control structures. We will also understand how to use Python libraries like Pandas for data manipulation and analysis. 
After that, you will practice working with data using Python, uh, performing tasks such as cleaning data, filtering data, and transforming data. So here, I'll also be giving you some tasks, some basic tasks uh, for Python practice. Then we will go to data visualization. In Python, we will learn popular Python libraries for data visualizations such as matplotlib and seaborn. Then we will explore different chart types and techniques for creating effective visualizations. We will also practice uh, creating visualizations and dashboards using Python. So at the end, we will be doing a big project uh, in Python and we will analyze a big data set in Python using pandas and numpy. And at the end, I will also give you a big data set so you can uh, practice and you can work on that data sets using python if you have come this far please like this video and subscribe this channel we will be posting one video every week so you can learn data analytics along with me thanks for watching